Hi, my friends, this is Ian Stewart, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to alter your blog links, okay, and various things within the blog. So uh, each of our members at Builderbiz Online, they get this bonus blog, okay? Each paying member get a bonus blog, and they can do quite a lot of, with it as well. And it's all about teaching people about traffic. Uh, you can make this your own um, in the sense that you can alter the posts. You can alter the links just here. There's two links here that need to be altered. I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can alter this banner just here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Also, I'm going to show you how to change this form to this affiliate marketing marketing ideas and you can find that in our autoresponder which also is a free bonus for paying members at builders online okay um this attracts quite a lot of people so if you promote this page uh affiliate marketing ideas you've got to give people a good um excuse a good reason that's better to fill in these forms nowadays, okay? So as soon as anybody fills in this form and clicks that, it will send them this free report, uh, report on affiliate marketing ideas. We'll also show you how to alter these button banners down here. And this won't be in your blog, so uh, we'll leave that one alone, okay? And neither will this be in your blog either because we've made it as simple as we possibly can. So the first thing we need to do, once you're logged in to your uh, admin area, you need to click on dashboard. Okay, so this is my dashboard. And there is a video in there, but it's a little bit out of date now. And to tell you the truth, I don't know how to alter it. I do not know how to find this. And when I do, I shall replace it with this video okay so what we want to do then first of all i'm going to alter these two links or show you where you can alter these two links i'm not going to alter them because i'll mess it up for myself okay so within the dashboard if you go to appearance okay sorry i'm telling you wrong if you go yeah appearance that's right yeah i can see it now and click on menus so click on that now you will see this top menu and this is the baby here so my recommended program so what i want you to do is to click on that and then put in your username usually i do this for you okay but if you want to add something else there uh, you can do so put your username there and then on this one as well put your username in there and then when you've done that click save okay so that's that simple and tech that is then i want you to click on custom you must click save by the way my friends now this thank you very much you've been a bit slow today my pc is now what we're going to alter this time is the uh, link here now i i i do pre-do it but if i've forgotten to do it then what we need to do is to click on widgets because this is a widget this is a widget and this is all this down the right hand side are widgets so click on widget and we need to find the right the header right okay so we click on that and then we click on this and then we click text and then we alter the link just there okay and when you've done that you must click publish now i've not altered anything so just click publish okay and that that means you have completed this link and this link and that link okay so click publish after you've altered that username just there and then we need to go back out of here, okay? So I'm going to go back to the dashboard for a second, okay? Then what we're going to do is to work on this here. 
Now, you really need to go and set up your autoresponder campaign. It's a almost ready niche. So if you have a look, let me just log into my autoresponder. Can I see? Is it down there? Let's just, I'll go down here. I'm using RoboForm to find my login to thing. My autoresponder. Okay. So what we've got here is the niche campaign. So we click on there and it tells you and shows you how to set up your almost ready niche campaigns. Okay. So this video will do that and you choose which one you want to set up. But for the blog, it's the affiliate marketing ideas. Okay. So let's go back. We can close that down for a second. But oh, wait one second. Wait one second. After you have, after you have completed your campaign, you come down, you scroll down and we find the one that we want. Where are we? Somebody stole mine. He, where is it? A strange. Affiliate marketing ideas, it's there. Okay. So anyway, what we do here is once you've set it all up, we click on here. And then we want two pieces of information that you need to change over on the dashboard. So let me just go back to the dashboard and I'll show you. So we come in here and we can go to widgets. Okay. And now we're looking for um, text. Now let's see if I can alter it in here. Because they have altered things again. No, you can't. Okay. So we go come over to customize. You keep changing things um, every time you up, update um, WordPress. Okay, and then we go to widgets, and then we go to the sidebar, and we are looking for the affiliate marketing ideas. So we come down here and we click on that. And there's two things that you need to alter. You need to grab your username so you know that, don't you? You know your username at the... Um, so we come back over here. And we find the username. So where are you? So there's... So you put your username in there. Okay, and then you need this ID just here. So you have a look for the ID, and my ID is that. Okay, 515197. So we should have 5197. Now, once you've altered that, the system will know if you've altered anything. Click Publish. Okay, and that is that. Now, when it comes to widgets, these uh, the, the rest of the widgets, just here, what you need to do is go back, click on the primary sidebar. Oh, let's close that all. That's better. And you need to go to the add squares. Okay, and these are them. Now, you can have, I believe it's eight. I would never have eight. Four is enough. Four is enough. Okay, so mine's set to four. And all you do then is find the add square. So let us say that you belong to, oh, what's this one now? This is the downliner. So that's this one. So what you need to do is to put your username okay and you can leave the rest then you must click save um the builder is online one you you look for it and you put in your username just there okay you can swap these out all together let's say for instance um let's go over to my builder is online and i will show you let's go to something else let's go to something else let me have a look on here I'm going to swap this one out 
okay? Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to my Builderbiz Ad Exchange. So excuse me just a minute. So while that's just logging in, and then we're going to go and find a 125 times 125 banner by clicking on Affiliate Tool. Incidentally, if you're brand new, this is our very own Ad Exchange, okay? like a traffic exchange, it's super duper there with solo ads and things like that. So we click on the referral, the affiliate tools there, and then we come down and I want this. So what I do, look, is grab all of that, I copy that, and then I can put it, oops, come here. That won't let me do it, thank you, copy that copy then we come over here i think it was yeah and i'm altering the builder biz online one which is builderbizonline.com there so i'm going to delete that and i'm going to paste that in instead paste and then we can publish it okay so now what we should see over here if i click refresh there, there it is, it's changed, okay? So that's great. So that's how to do that. And basically, that's about it. Now, if you wanted to alter um, one of these, if you wanted to put your name in it, if you wanted to do anything, all you do is click edit. Now, keep your eye on the date as well, because you possibly want it to look um, more relevant, a relevant time. So what you do is click on edit, and then you can come over here and you click visual. That's better. Uh, you can alter the dates over here in this area. Okay. Uh, but if you wanted to put your name in or if you want to alter something, you can. Uh. So that's basically it. That's basic stuff for the blog. Okay. So I'm hoping that this uh, video has helped you. Now, if it hasn't, if it hasn't, what I'd like you to do on any of the Builderbiz Online pages, whether it's in the autoresponder or Builderbiz Online um, members area, I want you to click on this link, okay, and send me a text, okay? Now, in this particular video that you're watching right now, it's on YouTube, and what I would like you to do so that you get all new training videos um, a notification if you can please subscribe and hit that bell and click all then when I add more training videos for Builderbiz Online or the Responder or the blog you will get a notification and it'll tell you what I'm training on so therefore you'll be able to say well I know all that or I don't know that or maybe it's trying to teach me something else. You may be refining a video. Then uh, please watch the video. Now, also, when you watch a video, watch it all the way through, and then please do this, because this helps me with my training. If you like it, then give it a thumbs up, okay? And you can give me a comment and tell me why you like it. If you don't like the training or if I've missed something out, give it a thumbs down. Doesn't matter which. And then in the comments, tell me what it is that's missing or what you need teaching. Is that fair enough? And this way we can keep, um, I don't know, I can keep your training specific. Okay, and everybody else can benefit from that training as well. Okay, my friend, so uh, there we have it. So please don't forget, subscribe, hit that bell and click all, and then you will get all future training videos. Thanks for listening and bye for now.